Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about fibrosarcoma in detail and we are going to jot down all the key features of fibrosarcoma including its site, uh, uh, clinical presentation and uh, morphological features, how to diagnose, how to treat. So please jot down all the key features of this high yield topic that is fibrosarcoma. So fibrosarcoma uh, is a tumor uh, that is found in both adults and children. There may be some uh, differences in the adult variant and uh, childhood variant. And fibrosarcoma so as a pure entity may be rare, it may be a myofibroblastic sarcoma or rather or uh, it may be a differentiated form of uh, various other malignant tumors which were thought initially to be fibrosarcoma but later on found to be de-differentiated variant of liposarcoma, malignant peripheral nerve sheet tumor, synovial sarcoma and other malignant uh, spindle cell entities. Uh, so uh, fibrosarcomas uh, are uh, clinically uh, present commonly in the deep soft tissue of the lower extremities uh, that is the common site sometimes may be present in the retroperitoneum mediastinum these are the common uh, sites of uh, fibrosarcomas and the uh, fibrosarcomas uh, may be clinically deceptive morphologically deceptive grossly it may present as a soft fleshy tumor uh, sometimes may have a, a circumscribed margin as well and uh, fibrosarcoma on uh, mm, Histological examination uh, shows a typical uh, pattern interlacing fascicles of spindle cells are seen and those spindle cells are typically uh, that interlacing fascicle pattern is known as the so called herringbone pattern but this pattern is very non specific may be seen in various other types of fibrosarcoma like uh, features as well like MPNST, hemangioparasitoma all those other tumors also these pattern may be seen. So uh, the individual tumor cells are spindle cells and uh, with varying nuclear ATP with a bit of uh, tapering end and little bit of cytoplasm is uh, there and uh, there may be high chi 67 activity pleomorphism may be variable in different variants different grade according to the different grades of uh, fibrosarcoma uh, and um, there may be reticulin fiber uh, reticulin fiber positivity may be demonstrated around each uh, spindle cell so and, and cd34 may be positive vimentin may be positive in uh, immunohistochemistry so these are the important uh, things to be noted in fibrosarcoma and um, it may um, uh, be treated because it is prone for recurrences and uh, metastasis. It may metastasize to distant organ like lungs and all. So uh, if it is uh, uh, high grade and metastatic, it may be treated with chemotherapy. Otherwise, it may be uh, treated uh, with that of uh, excision. Uh, and um, uh, the infantile variant, so far we were talking about the adult variant. The infantile variant that generally seen in less than two years. Uh, and uh, may, may be seen in axial region and some other areas as well and again here also there is a fibroblastic or there is an admixture of fibroblastic and myofibroblastic component and here in infantile variant you may see biphasic uh, type in microscopic uh, pictures there may be some intermixed myxoid areas and some other type of morphology may be observed so uh, that's all about the fibrosarcoma now let's have a quick recap to wrap the video so fibrosarcomas uh, commonly uh, present uh, uh, in the lower extremities, retroperitoneum, mediastinum, and the, in the axial region in the uh, infantile variant. And uh, the herringbone pattern is uh, seen. There may be varying degree of pleomorphism with positivity for vimentin, reticulin, uh, five, uh, reticulin stain positivity uh, may be seen. Treatment uh, is uh, uh, being done by uh, the local excision or chemotherapy depending upon the grade of the tumor and it has to be carefully uh, differentiated from the differentiated variant of synovial sarcoma, MPNST and other rare malignant tumors. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and follow in our different groups and please stay tuned for the next video. See you in the next video. Thank you.